Hey, what is up? Jose060789 here, and I would like first to apologize to my loyal subscribers for not making a video in a long time, probably like about a month and something weeks. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm just going to say that. Anyways, um, to compensate for all the time that I've liked and not posted a video, I will do a... Um, I will do a video on uh, how to make ringtones, as you can tell by the title. Now, this is going to be on the latest version of iTunes 10.5. And on this works on any iDevice. It doesn't necessarily have to be jailbroken. No, not really. But anyways, to the point is, I'm going to show you how to make those ringtones with the latest version of iTunes and uh, the latest firmware. Um, you know, just to let you guys know that it still works even now. So uh, let's get started. So the very first step is you want to go to control panel, hit appearance and personalization, folder options, view, scroll halfway until you see hide extensions for known files, uncheck that, hit click OK, exit, and you're done for the first step. For the second step you want to go to iTunes, choose any song, Right click the song you want to make into ringtone, click get info, options tab, choose 30 seconds, any part of the song you want to make a ringtone. For this I will use thir the, very, the beginning of the song until it ends at 30 seconds. Click OK. Right click again, create AAC version, it takes about 2 seconds. Alright, and that's it, that's it for the second step. All right, so for the third step, you want to go back to the original phone length uh, audio file and you want to change it back to its audio settings. All right, so now that you've done that, you want to have on your copy your AAC version, you want to drag it to the desktop. All right, so for now, you want to delete this one on the iTunes that you just made a copy of. Delete it. Yes. You want to minimize iTunes. And now, for your attention on this one, if step one went according to plan, you have the option to change the file type by renaming it from M4A to M4R. Pretty simple. And yes. All right, it's going to glitch for a little bit, so I'm not sure if it. I mean, it's, it's going to work. I'm just like, it might glitch on you, but nothing too serious. So that's pretty much it for step three. All right, for the fourth step, you want to go back to iTunes and make sure this is highlighted to tones. And you want to double click on this file. And as you can see, it is automatically added to my tones list, formerly known as ringtones, but it's now tones. And it's plain as you can see, so it's proof that it works now. But if you made a mistake or how somehow you're not getting the results, then please refer back to the beginning of the video and retrace the steps. So for the final step, once you figure out everything on on all the steps and you manage to make your own ringtone, what you need to do is on the file, the original one, the ringtone file that you changed from M4A to M4R, you want to save that. You want to save that on your desktop. It doesn't matter where in a folder would be recommended. For, for when you actually play this again, you're gonna get a, a pop-up message saying you have to locate it. You locate it and you basically double click on wherever you put the file and that's pretty much it. So congratulations on you guys knowing how to make ringtones. It's pretty easy and simple. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. So see you guys later.